Today, I would like to introduce you to a popular household item, the ultrasonic humidifier. Not only does it make your room look elegant, it is also an energy-saving way to turn liquid water to water vapor. Do you want to know how it works, and also find out how effective it is to humidify your room? Let's find out! First, we will look at the construction of the humidifier. If you open the cover, we will see a plastic holder with a membrane in the middle. There are LED lights that are underneath the plastic. If we turn the humidifier around and open the bottom, we will see a heat sink connected to electronics parts. There is also a fan at the bottom that runs on 12V DC with a current of 0.05 ampere. When we use it, we first fill the top part with water, and then we can put the cover back on. If we now turn it on, the membrane will produce ultrasound that will create mist on the surface of the water. The fan will now circulate the air around the humidifier to bring the mist out. You may wonder how the ultrasound can turn water into mist. Here we will see that the ultrasonic vibrator actually generates a water column above it. Because of the high frequency, the water breaks up into droplets and comes out from the surface. So what is the energy efficiency of the humidifier? To find out this, we can measure how fast the water is removed from the humidifier by putting it on a balance. We can also measure its power usage with a power meter. We see that during operation, the power of the humidifier is 9.7 watt. The fan runs at the 0.6 watt, so the total power used for removing the water is 9.1 watt. Here is how the water mass changes with time. We can see that the rate of water loss is not constant. It is faster at the beginning, but slower with less water at the end. On average, it takes about 4.5 hours to remove 100 grams of water. If we assume all the water is evaporated, we can then calculate its energy efficiency, which is the heat that is needed to evaporate the water divided by the power of the humidifier. Surprisingly, the number turns out to be about 165%. So how can the efficiency be more than 100%, you may ask? The reason is because the assumption in the calculation is wrong. The humidifier is actually not evaporating the water, but making water droplets. The energy used to form the water droplets is less than the energy used to evaporate the water. That's why the mist that comes out on the humidifier is cold. In fact, the ultrasonic humidifier is more energy efficient than a steamer to remove water. So where does the mist go then? The mist vanishes away after it comes out. The mist has very high surface area, and so it will evaporate by absorbing heat from the surrounding air. We can see its effect by putting a sensor that measures the temperature and relative humidity about 20 cm away from the humidifier here. And we see that as time goes on, the relative humidity increases because the water becomes water vapor, and the temperature drops because the evaporation takes away heat from the air. We can see the range of the humidifier by measuring the temperature and the relative humidities at different distances from the humidifier. And we see that the effect of the humidifier decreases with distance. The changes in relative humidities is rather small when you are more than 1 meter away from the humidifier. So you may wonder whether the humidifier can continuously increase the relative humidity of the room. Here's what happens when time goes on. Surprisingly, the humidity drops and the temperature increases despite the humidifier being on. The changes may be due to an induced convection in the room due to the temperature differences. Another reason is that the room we did the experiment has a false ceiling on it, which is not airtight. So as time goes on, there is fresh air that comes out from the ceiling. That ends up causing the temperature and relative humidity to go back to normal. At the end, if you want to use the humidifier to increase the humidity of the room, it will depend on the room that you are using in. It is not effective in an office space with a forced ceiling with centralized air conditioning system. But if you use it in an airtight room in your home, the effect will be more significant. I hope this video helps you to understand more about the ultrasonic humidifier. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.